Hi, this is Andy, and recently I've tested a whole bunch of different AI note takers. Today, I'm going to rank the 10 most popular ones in a tier list. We'll cover legends like Otter AI, and also check out newcomers like Quilly. I'll show you which tool will actually save you time, and which ones are just pretending to. So, we're going to compare 10 AI note takers. You can see all of them listed below. We'll rank them like this. D tier are the ones I wouldn't recommend using. C tier is a bit below average. B tier are solid middle of the road options. A tier are strong market leaders. And S tier are the absolute top AI note takers that, besides basic features, also offer something extra, some unique qualities of their own. Let's start with Firefly's AI. This is a pretty simple and straightforward AI note taker. And its main highlight is the huge number of integrations. If you actually look at how many services you can connect, it's practically endless. Also, after a meeting, if you look at the design, Everything is generally pretty clear, speakers are identified, and you can jump to and replay the parts you need. The transcription quality is quite good. On the free plan, you can only record audio, but if you upgrade, you'll be able to record video as well. There's also the option to generate various AI note templates. You can customize and create your own unique template. You can use the AI chat to ask for any additional information, share it with colleagues, and also sync information after meetings with your favorite services. The pricing policy is also quite straightforward. The only thing is, it would be nice to try out the full functionality on the free plan to really understand whether I want to upgrade or if the free plan will be enough for me. So Fireflies goes straight to the A tier. The next tool is Otter AI. It's a real veteran in the market, and probably because of that, its features and capabilities are a bit outdated. When you use it, you get a transcript and an audio recording. Yes, you can take screenshots and capture important moments, get AI summaries, and even create your own templates. But whenever I tested it, every single time there were issues connecting the bot. It takes a really long time to connect, and it's pretty hard to remove it. Even when you do remove the bot, it still stays in the meeting, and you have to wait. You just never know what to expect from this tool. It works a little differently every time. And also, when I used the AI chat, it often gave answers that were out of context for the meeting. It's great that you can record meetings for free. A cool feature is that there's a mobile app, and you can record offline meetings. There aren't a lot of integrations here either. The performance and transcription quality are pretty average, even when it's working with English. When it comes to other languages, with strong accents and dialects, it's just impossible to tell what's going on. That's why I put this tool in the B tier, for its free plan, for letting people who need it record meetings, and for giving you a chance to try out the world of AI note takers and see how they work. The next tool is Blue Dot, and its key feature is that it records your meetings without using a bot. Blue Dot works simply as a free extension. You can click on the icon, select a note template here, choose your microphone, and also pick the language the recording will be in. After that, you just need to click the Start Capture button, and that's it. It looks like magic, but that's how it is. All you need to do is a few clicks, and the meeting recording starts. No one knows it's being recorded. There's no annoying bot, and you don't have to wait for it. And then, to get the recording result, all you need to do is leave the meeting, and Blue Dot will immediately open a link to your meeting in a new tab. And it looks like this. On the right side, you get the transcript. You can use the AI chat, and here it will give you more accurate answers and focus specifically on information from your meeting. You can create your own clip, highlight a specific part, and share it with your colleagues. You can generate an AI email to quickly share information with your colleagues after the meeting. Just like with the previous tools, you can use your custom note template or create your own if needed. And if you recorded too much, or if you recorded something you don't want to share with your colleagues or any confidential information, you can also edit your recording. It really works like magic. And on top of all that, you can also connect various integrations. You can connect Slack, HubSpot, Salesforce, Zapier, or a webhook. And you can also record your in-person meetings, record lectures, or simply record your screen. To do this, just click here, select screen, hit start recording, and Blue Dot will record your screen. And that's still not all. But if I start listing all the features of this tool, our video would end up being only about Blue Dot. That's why I'm putting Blue Dot in the S tier and with Blue Dot you can fully test everything on the free plan. Next up is Crisp, a tool that, at first glance, seemed pretty complicated to me. When you land on the main page, there are a lot of different buttons, and it's not clear how to record a meeting or what you need to do for that. Plus, a lot of features aren't available, which makes it hard to fully test everything on the free plan. Crisp lets you record meetings without a bot, but only audio. In the end, you get a transcript, as well as notes like action items and an outline. And the key feature of Crisp is that when recording, it cleans up the audio and improves the quality of the recording. I don't know how many languages this works with or how good the quality is, because basically, I record audio using my studio microphone. And probably, if you often have meetings, you also have either a headset or headphones with a more or less decent microphone, so your conversation partners can hear you well. Also, when you receive notes, there is no way to create a custom template here. You do have the option to connect various integrations, like HubSpot, Salesforce, or Zapier. In addition to recording, you can also upload your own meeting in MP3 or MP4 format, select the language, and analyze it as well. If you want to try out more features, 
there's an upgrade options button almost everywhere, on every corner. Here, here, and here. And any recordings older than 7 days become unavailable. I'll put it in the C tier. Next up is Meet Geek. It positions itself as your personal AI meeting companion, works with various services, and has a large number of different integrations. Meet Geek works using a bot, which can join as a separate participant and record your meetings. What do you get after using Meet Geek? You get a full video. You can also record audio plus your screen. Next, MeetGeek automatically creates a transcript and also an AI summary from your video, and it generates highlights and key moments that you can click on to jump to a specific timestamp. It allows you to download and share individual short clips with your team. And in the bundle plans, there's also the option to analyze your meetings, which is useful if you work in a team and want to assess your skills. As for limitations, in the free version, only a limited number of recordings are stored. MeetGeek doesn't work without the bot. You always need to invite it and it will be a third-party participant. I would put Meet Geek in the A tier because it's a good tool with high-quality recordings and a reasonable price for the features offered. The next tool on the list is Thoughtum. Its key feature is its free plan. With Thoughtum, for personal use, you can record an unlimited number of meetings. Thoughtum also works as a separate participant and joins by a bot. It has a free extension that you can use to initiate the bot connection process. After the meeting, you get a ready-made video. You receive a full transcript of the meeting, and by clicking on it, you can quickly jump to the desired part. You can generate an AI summary, but only using a single template. And you can also ask Fathom questions, but only on the higher tier plan. But I don't really like the design of how everything is set up here. It's dark and a bit hard to read, and to view both the transcript and the summary, you'll have to switch between tabs. You can record meetings endlessly for free and generate summaries, but only using a single template. You can use basic integrations and access premium features for five calls each month. I'll also put this tool in the A tier for its capabilities on the free plan and the recording quality is quite good, plus it generates a summary for you almost instantly. The next tool is Jamie, and Jamie only works as a standalone application. What can it do? It can record your meeting and generate a transcript for you afterwards. In the end, you'll only get the transcript and just notes. You can also ask the AI to prepare some information for you. For some reason, when I'm testing it now, the notes tab is unavailable, even though I opened a template where you could see what you get in the end. For me, this tool is too niche, because first of all, you have to use a separate application. You only get the transcript. And the main focus here is that you can use the AI chat. Basically, Jamie is more of an intelligent assistant where you can communicate and ask questions. You don't have the option to record video or even just audio, and the price for this tool starts at 25 euros. Using Jamie this way, you can only record 20 meetings, 120 minutes, and you get extended limits for AI usage. Maybe this tool could be useful for some teams to quickly share information within the app. But honestly, for that price, I really don't understand what you're getting. So I'd probably put Jamie in the D tier, because I just don't get what you would need this app for at all. If you want to record meetings for free, you have Fathom. If you want to ask AI questions, you can do that in any of these apps. Or now, probably, a lot of people already have a subscription to ChatGPT or Cloud. So for me, the point of using Jamie just isn't clear at this moment. The next tool is Cluely, a separate desktop app that acts as your assistant right during the call. You can set it up so that it's invisible, and you'll be working in incognito mode. And even if you're sharing your screen, the other participants won't see that you're using it. Here, you can ask things like, what should I say next, and use it as a real-time assistant. It can respond and ask you various questions as well. After you finish the meeting, you can review what you've got. Here, you get the next steps, AI summary, action items, and notes. The key feature is that you quickly get real-time help from the AI assistant. In the end, you don't have the option to listen to or even read the recording. You only get the next steps, summary, action items, and notes. And here, you can ask questions about this meeting. You can use Cluely on the free plan to test how it works, or upgrade your plan to get unlimited AI responses. Basically, it's an interesting and popular AI assistant that can help you during interviews or when searching for information. And besides, it's developing rapidly right now, so its features may expand even more in the future. Right now, I would put Cluely in the B tier. For me, during meetings, it's important to have the video recording, because I often show things or share my screen, so that's a key feature for me when choosing an AI note taker. The next tool is Granola, and together with Cluely, they're quite similar. Granola also works as a standalone app that takes notes in real time. So basically, its functionality is very similar to Cluely's. The only thing is, during the meeting, you can only take notes. You don't have the option to ask anything to the AI chat, but what do I like about this tool? You can view the transcript. Granola recognizes speakers. You can read the transcript. You can create your own notes. You can see which notes have been made, and you can also use the AI chat to get additional information. In terms of cost, this tool is even cheaper than Cluely and basically, for me, it serves similar purposes. And the difference here is that you get the transcript and can ask questions after the meeting, while Cluely lets you ask questions specifically in real time. That's why I'm putting both of these tools in the B tier, because for some people having a transcript is more important, and for others, 
being able to ask questions in real time matters more. It all depends on your needs and what you use an AI note taker for. And the final tool is Leaksy AI. Leaksy puts a lot of emphasis on your data being secure and compliant with GDPR, and they say they have a European standard GDPR certificate. For me, Leaksy is a rather controversial tool. I had trouble even registering for it in the first place. It also works by using a bot. The interface, as you can see, is pretty formal, and it's quite easy to get lost in it. After meetings, you get a transcript, but reading it here, in my opinion, is extremely inconvenient. It's just a huge block of text and it's hard to figure out what's what. If you look at the chaptering tab, things seem a bit simpler there, and you also get an AI summary. You can create your own custom prompt and ask Leaksy for any additional information. And basically, you should be able to rewatch the video. But maybe because my meeting was recorded a long time ago, I can't do that here. On the main page, you get information about past calls. I don't know who this might help, how many calls you've made, how long they lasted. Maybe this will be useful for those who are specifically doing sales calls, but probably for analysis and analytics, MeetGeek is still a better fit. It has quite a large and impressive set of analytics features. And also, when I'm in the Leaksy interface, for some reason, I just want to leave. And besides, having to use a third-party bot just kills any desire to use this tool. The price starts at 15 euros. And as I mentioned, the main focus here is really on security. So if it's extremely important for you to keep your calls confidential and to make sure your information can't go anywhere, then maybe this tool is exactly what you need. But for my own needs, I'd put it in the C tier, on the same level as Chris. So that's the tier list I ended up with. In the S tier, I have Blue Dot, and that's not just because I work with them. I work with them specifically because it's Blue Dot. It's honestly a great tool that, for a reasonable price, gives you access to a huge number of features. And in reality, it covers most of your needs. You can use Fireflies if you need certain key integrations, or you can use MeetGeek if you need some kind of super in-depth analysis, or you can use Fathom if you need a large number of free recordings. But if you're using an AI note taker every day, Chances are you'll start thinking about upgrading your plan. But for me, the key feature of Blue Dot is that it records meetings without a bot. And it also has a pretty affordable price, so that's about it. Share your opinion or your own tier list in the comments. Well, see you in the next videos.